Oh, hey guys, welcome back to Copycat Friday and also welcome back to myself as I'm back from vacation. And today we're taking a look again at a very cool music video effect, this time from Olivia Rodrigo and her clip Brutal. In that clip we can see these very cool motion graphic animations on their faces and they kind of track with the face as well, which is very cool. So let's do that inside Adobe After Effects and let's get started. Was that good? <laughs> now personally I find tracking something onto a face one of the hardest thing to do in VFX. Like in our cyberpunk video we tried to do some tracking in the face but it failed completely and that's why we decided to fix it all with makeup. Which also wasn't the best idea. However, Olivia Rodriguez's latest music video is too cool to ignore, so we're giving face tracking another try. Let's do this. I'm going to coach. Go, Janik. Go, Janik. You can do it. Go, Janik. Transition. <laughs> fun fact, guys. Janik, fun fact, fun fun. Did you know that the original effect from Olivia Rodrigo is actually made with Apple? They filmed everything on their camera and ran the footage through the Procreate app on the iPad and that's how they made it. But that's not how we are going to make it. We are going to use After Effects and motion graphics. They're talking about motion graphics guys, it is a ton of work to make those and why reinvent the wheel if you can just go ahead and download tens of thousands of motion graphics elements off from Storyblocks, today's sponsor. Storyblocks is an ever-growing library filled with thousands of motion graphics assets but also things like After Effects templates to create a logo reveal, a title sequence, a slideshow, whatever you'd like. There are background animations and various themes, you can find visual effects such as muzzle flashes, smoke, dust and so much more. And then there are high quality 4K stock clips. If you are unable to shoot something, you can just download that clip off from Storyblocks. Or maybe you're just missing a few shots in your edit or your client is asking for something impossible. Well, Storyblocks probably has it. With over a million video assets, you can, if you like, download the entire library. There is no limit. There are no extra fees, just one single price per year. And I can highly recommend it because yes, we also use it on almost a daily basis. So go check out the first link in the description description down below to start downloading right now. And no one <laughs> makes me feel like you do. Yeah! Now for the shots, you can shoot on a tripod if you want to make it yourself easier in post-production. This way After Effects only needs to calculate the movement of the talent's face and not the camera's movement. But if you like a challenge, you can also go handheld and this is going to be harder but also possible. Now because we are going to explain two methods of this technique, one simple one and one more advanced, we're also going to need two shots. One shot where our talent doesn't move too much and keeps a straight face and one more advanced where your talent can move a little more freely and can even talk. And oh yeah, if you want you can also add some extra tracking markers on the face of the talent but think ahead and place them on the spot you want your motion graphics so you don't need to paint them away in post-production. With that being said, we have all the shots that we need the only thing left to do now is download some cool motion graphics from Storyblocks and then we can start the post-production. Okay, we have all the shots that we need. Now let's start with a simple version of our effect, face tracking in After Effects self. We took our shot where we have these small movements and not too many expressions. This we placed in our composition and the first thing we did was creating a mask around our talent's face. Then we set the mask mode to none and selected the mask. And once we had that, we are going to track it. So let's go to the tracker panel and while the mask is still selected, we're gonna get these different options to choose from that we are used to for this panel. 
Now we have the mask tracker options. Under the method we are going to choose the face tracking detailed feature option and then we just hit the tracking button. Now we can sit back, relax and let After Effects do its thing. But once you are done you will have this mask that falls along with the face perfectly. But that's not all that we have. We also have these face tracking points which follow our mouth, eyes, nose and the edges of our face perfectly. And the best thing is that they all have separated animated properties. Okay, now that everything is tracked, let's get linking. We have our motion graphic assets and place these in our composition. We positioned it on the spot that we want and with the liquify tool we made it match better with the curves of our face. The next step now is pre-comping the motion graphics and on this new comp we are going to add the puppet pins. However, we're gonna have a problem here. We need to place our puppet pinpoints on the exact same spot as our tracking markers. They need to match. But like you can see, we can't place puppet pinpoints next to our motion graphic because there is nothing here to pin. So we found a small workaround for that. We went in our pre-comp and here we made an ellipse shaped layer in the same size and shape as our talent's face covering all the parts where our tracking points are. Now go back to our main composition and here we can start placing our puppet pins. You can place as many as you want as long as you place them on the exact same position as the tracking marker. And once you place them all go back in your pre-comp layer and disable the ellipse layer. And then the last step is linking them. We opened up the property settings for the puppet pin effect and here you can see that every puppet pin has a separate position. This position we are going to parent with the correct tracking marker. And this is super mega duper important. The puppet pin with a certain position, for example the eyes pupil, needs to be linked to the tracking marker with also the exact same position. This is mandatory. And once you have linked everything, your motion graphic is tracked perfectly. Boom! You are done. But like you can see, this is a shot without bigger movements. But what if we want to move around a little bit more? Well, this we are going to do by using the plugin Lockdown by Chris Ramos, which is available on AE Scripts. Now we know that the Lockdown plugin is a little costly, but believe me, this is one of the most groundbreaking tracking plugins ever and opens up so many possibilities for visual effects. It's really insane what you can do with the plugin and how easy it is to use, which will become clear in a few seconds. But if you want to try it before you buy it, they have a trial version which will let you taste the power of this great plugin. I'll leave a link to Lockdown in the description below. So how does it work? Well with our clip in our composition, we looked for the Lockdown effect in the effects library and added that to our clip. Then in the effects control panel, click on the pop out button. This will open up a new window and here we can start tracking. First set the lasso grid pixel distance to around 20 for a more precise mesh. Next, while holding the control button, we can now draw a sort of mask around our face and once we are done drawing, a match will appear. Then we can set the method to extremely accurate and hit the track all button. This time, let lockdown do its thing and once the tracking is done, hit the set lockdown mesh frame button. This is important and will tell lockdown that this is a frame where stuff will be added. Then close the pop-up window and now let's hit the lockdown button in the effects control panel. This will create two extra layers, but we only have business in one layer and that's the pre-comp layer. Inside this pre-comp we can delete the checkerboard layer and add our motion graphics. And guess what? That was it. Everything is now tracked and warped along with our face. Now you can start adding details like glow, whatever you want, make it more curved and so on. It's easy as pie. That is how you could slap motion graphic animations onto your face. Big thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And as always, stay creative.
Olivia Rod Rod Rodrigo. 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 Olivia Rodrigo. 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 You get what I mean.